the first vow that you should have the woman you choose to commit yourself to, to make to you, the first, like, and I say vow because you should make your own vows. You shouldn't be in a, and you shouldn't be getting married under these, this satanic government. You know, you, uh, you, your marriage is under God and you should be coming up with things, a contract for your woman to sign or for her to um, adhere to and agree to before you get involved and before you two get um, decide to make a commitment to one another, you know, a lifetime commitment. The first vow you should, and this is the very, this is like to me, one of the most important next to, um, will you remain loyal? Like, um, it's a requirement to remain loyal. This is one of the, uh, key, another key vow right under that or right with that one. You have to vow to be my peace at all times. At all times, I need you to be my peace. That means that I don't never, ever want you to contribute to my to, to extra stress. Like if I'm stressed or something like that, and this goes like, brothers, just listen to me. I know y'all have experienced this. If you if If I'm stressed and I come from, you know, in the house or when I see you, I don't want you to add to my stress. That's not you being a good wife or a good woman to a man. You understand? And I don't care. I'm like, what it like your job is to be is to your job is to be my um, peace. It's not to give me any like you should soothe any stress that I'm going through. That should be your goal and objective. When you see me stressed or, or rattled or something like your goal and objective should be immediately to um, pacify that or to to um, to use your feminine energies to to quench that and quell that and get me back to back on my square, you know, or back um, from and 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 have and get regain my peace. That should be your job to. And I'm not saying like that every that you could do any that you could do all things. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that you could just be a miracle worker. And if the man is, you know, if it's a real big situation, he's going to immediately snap out of it. No, but you should never contribute to his stress. You should always attempt to try to, to, um, give him peace in those situations to be the peacemaker. That's a good woman. You know, it's a good wife. You should strive to do that. I don't. And again, any situation applies. That's why I said it should be in your vows, brothers, because any it applies to any and every situation because men already do these things naturally. Like if a woman is going, you know, she's out fighting or uh, with her job or something like that. And she get or uh, she get fired on a, a co-worker. Her and a co-worker get into it. And she get fired or, late, or she gets suspended and the co-worker still there are. When she talking to her man, the man not finna be on the co-worker side, bro. You understand? The man is going to try to, you know, even if he know that the co-worker, like that the woman may have been, his woman may have been in the wrong. His woman may have snapped or something like that. He may wait and he'll, he'll first of all, he not going to take the one, nobody's side. He's not going to, he going to take his woman's side. Let me just say that. The man's going to take his woman's side naturally. And then he's going to, if she's wrong, he'll be able to subtly tell her she wrong while at the same time edifying her, you know, and, um, and not making and, and taking her stress into, uh, onto himself. Like, well, basically dispelling the stress, like by letting her know, like edifying her, letting her know that, you know, who she is to you, you know, and how important she is, but at the same time, in this situation, letting her know if she was wrong or not so she can better herself and not do that in the next situation. And you can let her know that. It's the same thing with women. You could do that for your man. Like if your man is coming in from, you know, fighting out there in the streets or something, you know damn well he ain't supposed to be out there fighting in the streets. And it don't matter what the damn situation is unless a nigga trying to come in there and harm y'all or something. But you're going to be on his side. And you're going to let him, then you'll let him know, you know, where he went wrong. Like, man, you out here fighting the street doing over nigga shit, over dumb stuff, man. You know, anything can happen. You can kill that man. He can go to jail and you can go to jail or he can come, you know, kill you. Then we'll be freaking widows and all this, you know, blah, blah, blah. You, you can let him know, but edify him at the same time. Like some women, man, a dude come in from being beat down to the world. First thing they do, they beat him down some more. They get the base, like he been beat down with a hammer. They get the baseball bat when he get in the freaking crib. 
You know what I'm saying? They don't know how to dispel no energy. A man getting into it, you know, rah, 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 it's some stupid nigga situation going on. She add to the situation. Ah, where that nigga at? What's up? Where the bitch at? Where his bitch? You know, all that type shit, bro. Not just being in peace. Like, baby, don't even worry about that. You know what I'm saying? Why, why, why? Women lacking that gift these days, man. They lacking a lot of gifts and a lot of traits that make them even important to a man. They gave up. You gave those traits up, woman. Like, it wasn't anyone else. You gave them up. Like I said in previous videos, you gave up your superpowers for feminism and stupid stuff like that. Yo, know, you're supposed to be your man's helpmate. That's another vow. You understand? Like, you're supposed to be his helpmate. So, in adding to his stress, like, you're supposed to be helping everything he's doing. Not adding to his stress. Not triggering him, you know, at all times. Trying to... You know, you see the nigga, had, some women see a man, they go so far as to even see a man at peace and they be the one to to disrupt that. They be the, the cause of disrupting that, man. You need to get away from, a, you shouldn't have never even involved yourself with a woman like that. You should have knew that that was that type of woman, but you know what I'm saying? The person you're dealing with before you even involve yourself trying to talk about making, uh, getting married, like for real. You know if you got you a toxic person like that, why you, why you getting to know them? You understand? You should have this, and as a man, you know, and and man, all like men and women are different. As a man, you should have you're the leader. You should have discernment on the woman you getting with, man. Like a lot of you men got y'all already knew the woman you got with who did you dirty. You knew she wasn't a good woman or a good wife. You know she was just you know you thought she was sexy. You thought she looked good. You was thinking with your wrong with the wrong head, bro. You feel me? You was thinking with your you wasn't thinking with your mind. You feel me? You were not doing that. And a lot of so a lot of dudes know what they got themselves into. But as a man, you should have discernment of the type of woman you get with. She should have those traits. And again, you need to establish those vows and have her sign that. That's the only contract I'm interested in. You sign and or, or worry, uh, only contract I'm worried about. I'll make all these, you know, I'll make a lifetime commitment to you, but I'm gonna need you to commit to doing these things. And if you fail to do those things, you're not doing your wifely duties. And I'm not saying I'm going to just leave you immediately. No, <laughs> how, you know, I'm going to just need you to, to understand that you're not doing those and correct that. If you're not going to correct that, then, hey, you know, you're not showing me no love at that point. You don't love me. You're not, you know, you're not trying to be my wife at that point because it should be no, it should be no reason. And I'm going to say this again, for a man you, that you call, that you call yourself loving, or to be your husband, that he comes in and he's unhappy, and you look at him as an individual, instead of you looking, instead of you in taking that like, not he has a problem, y'all have a problem. If you don't intake it like that, then shame on you. It's the same way if your son came in, um, you know, to your home and told you, you know, something. I was being, he was unhappy, he being bullied, or your daughter. Wouldn't you, would you just look at them as individuals like, well, shit, that's on you. You know, well, well, nigga, you shouldn't be doing this. You shouldn't be doing that. Or you're going to be like, we have a problem. Same way with a parent, like your son. Yeah, he may be acting up in class. You're going to, you know, and a teacher uh, smacked him upside his face. You're going to be like, well, dang, let me, but, you know, the teacher smacked you. You know, hold up. Let me, you know, I ain't say that they can slap you upside your, you know, I ain't say that. You know, now what did you do? I am going to ask, what did you do? It's at the same time. And we're going to deal with that. We're going to address that. But I'm going to console you from being slapped upside the head. Be like, hold on, man. You know, that wasn't right. Now, I ain't going to say he should have did that. You feel me? And now, after, I, now, look, this is me. When it comes to children, if I hear what he did, you know, and depending on how egregious, look, I'm a person who believe in spur the rod, spur the rod, spoil the child, and it take a village to raise them. I'm, if you were up there like some of these kids hitting teachers with churros, man, he should have slapped you upside your face. You understand? So you see where I'm going with that? Like, women get a dude, y'all be consoling, you know, niggas who, who the devil should be consoling. Y'all be consoling niggas who are the, like, who embracing the literal darkness, you know, doing all type of scams and killing people, you know, <laughs> like the dude BTB Savage who just got, um, you know, who just got killed. Like, you have, he was in there with his woman when all that drama went down. Like, you have women... 
who be consoling. And, and he wasn't even like, and it was a guy trying to rob him, but that he had to kill. But what I'm saying is, is you have men who be on the streets doing all type of criminal activity, doing all type of stuff, harming others and things like that. And women be right there, you know, trying to get whatever, however they can console them. They'll do that with the men. They not, you know, they don't try to get them lip or put, you know, how they do the guys who you consider to be decent men. They'll try to push them over. They, they always want to trigger them. It's all Always, it's like a game. It's always you want to get away from women like that, bro. Don't even, don't even entertain them, bro. Lead them to the streets where they need to be, and let whatever happen to them happen to them. You know, and it's not gonna be nothing good, cause you don't mean nobody no no good intentions. You'll get, you'll try to, you know, you'll try to tell a person you with them, and and this and the third, but at the same time, you the one adding to these men's stress. You're not being his peace. You don't even love the Lord because if you love God, you will do what he told you to do. You will be the type of woman that he told you to be. You women out here claiming to be Christian and all this other stuff. Stop it, man. I need y'all to stop because God's sick of it. <laughs> and so I, I talked to God and he said, stop mentioning him when, you, when you're talking this, this feminist traditional crap. When you start talking about who y'all dating because y'all not trying to do right by no men. Y'all y'all not the daughters of Zion. You know, you didn't left, you didn't abandon that. You gave up your superpowers. A lot of y'all got, you know, a lot of these women, they don't know how to show no affection to no men. They, they don't know how to be they how to be in their feminine role. They too busy. They want to be masculine like men. They want to have girlfriends. You know, they want to put, they want to be a munch. You know? So, you know, leave them to their own devices, man. Don't, and then they want to, these same type of women pop up and then want to have babies by guys. Stop it. But all I'm saying is for anyone and women, like I said, men have a different role. You can y'all have y'all vows to make under God, you know, and y'all should be able y'all should be talking about those things. But one of the main things for men that they should demand from you is from you women is loyalty is one of them. And the other is for you to agree to be his peace at all times. It's never a good look when you see a when you see a crisis, even when you're in public and you see a couple out or something like that, and you see one of them going through something or, or something's going on, and the other one is is like heckling them, or the other one is just acting like they separate from the situation. I'll be looking at that. If it's a man doing that, I'll be looking at him like a coward. If it's a woman doing that to a man, I look at her like, man, bro, you should have been and left that bitch. Yeah, and I said, bitch, because that's all she is, bro. You know, she not caring about you. She don't, man, she don't care about nobody but herself. So I'm telling you, man, these are the vows. That's one of the, that is one of the most important vows that you can make. That is one of the most important things you can demand from a woman, bro. Do you hear me? That is for her to be your peace at all times. With that being said, it's your man, Nico B, Black Effect. I'm gone.